but I do want to read a couple small passages uh, from from uh, this book, Just Kids. And, uh, and I would like to dedicate these two passages to our youth, our youth, the hope of the world. On All Saints Day, on 23rd Street, there was a big hotel called the Chelsea Hotel. And in that hotel, there were two kids going from the smallest room in the hotel to the next smallest room. And it was a quite an exciting event. I exited our tiny room in my East of Eden dress, stepped upon the white squares of the chessboard floors of the Chelsea Hotel, skipped down several flights of stairs, and stood before the door of our new room. I had the key in my hand, room 204. It was right next door to the room where Dylan Thomas had written his last words. It was All Saints Day, and Robert gathered our belongings, slid them into the elevator, and got off at the second floor. Our new room was in the back of the hotel. The bathroom, which was a bit gritty, was in the hallway. But the room was pretty, with two windows overlooking an old brick building and high trees shedding the last of their leaves. There was a double bed, a sink with a mirror, and a closet area without a door. We were energized by the change. Robert lined his spray cans under the sink, and I rummaged through my cloth pile and found a length of Moroccan silk to hang over the closet. There was a big wooden desk that Robert could use as a work table and because it was on the second floor, I could fly up and down the stairs. I hated using the elevator. It gave me a sense that the hotel lobby was an extension of the room, for it was truly my station and where I did most of my writing. Robert stayed up most of that night at the big desk, working on the opening pages of a new fold-out book. He used three photo booth pictures of me in my Mayakovsky cap and surrounded them with butterflies and angels. I felt, as always, a rising pleasure when he used a reference to me in a work. It was as if, through him, I would be remembered. It was beautiful 
It was beautiful And if there's one thing Could do for you You'd be a wing In heaven blue It snowed on Christmas night. Robert and I walked to Times Square to see the white billboard proclaiming, war is over, if you want it. Happy Christmas from Jan and Yoko. It hung above the bookstall where Robert bought most of his men's magazines between Childs and Benedict's, two all night diners. Looking up, we were struck by the ingenuous humanity of this New York City tableau. Robert took my hand, and as the snow swirled around, I glanced at his face. He narrowed his eyes and nodded in affirmation, impressed to see artists take on 42nd Street. For me, it was the message. For Robert, the medium. Newly inspired, we went back to our new space. It was on 23rd Street near the Chelsea Hotel. Our necklaces that we had made hung on hooks and he had tacked up some of our drawings. We stood at the window and looked out at the snow falling beyond the fluorescent oasis sign with its squiggly palm tree. 
Luke, he said, it's snowing in the desert. I thought about a scene in Howard Hawke's movie Scarface where Paul Muni and his girl are looking out the window at a neon sign that said, the world is yours. Robert squeezed my hand. The 60s were coming to an end. Robert and I celebrated our birthdays. Robert turned 23, then I turned 23, the perfect prime number. Robert made me a tie rack with the image of the Virgin Mary. I gave him seven silver skulls on a length of leather. Robert wore the skulls, I wore a tie. We felt ready for the 70s. It's our decade, he said. <laughs> These are the words of Allen Ginsberg. Holy, 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 holy. The world is holy, the soul is holy, the skin is holy, the nose is holy, the tongue and cock and hand and asshole holy. Everything is holy, everybody's holy, everywhere is holy, every day is an eternity, every man's an angel, the bums as holy as the seraphim. The madman is holy as you, my soul, are holy. The typewriter is holy. The poem is holy. The voice is holy. The hearers are holy. The ecstasy is holy. Holy Peter, Holy Allen, Holy Solomon, Holy Lucian, Holy Kerouac, Holy Hunky, Holy Burroughs, Holy Cassidy, Holy Gregory, Holy the unknown buggered and suffering beggars, Holy the hideous human angels, Holy my mother in the insane asylum, Holy the cocks of the grandfathers of Kansas, Holy the groaning saxophone, Holy the bop apocalypse, Holy the jazz bands, marijuana, hipsters, peace and drums and dreams. Holy the solitudes of skyscrapers and pavements. Holy the cafeterias filled with the mil millions. Holy the mysterious rivers of tears under the streets. Holy the lone juggernaut. Holy the vast lamb of the middle class. Holy the crazy shepherds of rebellion. Who oh, digs Los Angeles is Los Angeles. Holy New York, Holy San Francisco, Holy Peoria, Holy Seattle, Holy Paris, Holy Tangiers, Holy Moscow, Holy Istanbul, Holy Time and Eternity, Holy Eternity and Time, Holy the Clocks in Space, Holy the Fourth Dimension, Holy the Fifth International, Holy the Angels and Moloch, Holy the Sea, Holy the Desert, Holy the Railroad, Holy the Locomotive, Holy the Visions, Holy the Hallucinations, Holy the Miracles, Holy the Eyeball, Holy the Abyss, Holy Forgiveness, Mercy, Charity, Faith, Holy Ours, Bodies, Suffering, Magnanimity, Holy the Supernatural, Extra, Brilliant, Intelligent, Kindness of the Soul.
against my face 